In the late 1950s, small buses with sound systems loaded with 45 RPM records traveled throughout Jamaica for Saturday night dances. Jamaicans at that time couldn't afford hi-fi sets, and they got their music from these traveling jukeboxes. Stone Love is the name of the oldest sound system in Kingston, created 27 years ago. It's become a powerful industry, and its products are used in concerts every day all over Jamaica. The trucks, the walls of gigantic loudspeakers, and so on, are very impressive. Today, Stone Love is a thriving company with almost 100 full-time employees. It uses yellow trucks with its logo Stone in the shape of a red heart. The installation is set up around two individuals. The selector chooses the records, and the disc jockey comments on and introduces them using Star Wars-type electronic effects. Dancehall records are heard the most nowadays, making the nights in Kingston even more torrid. Dance hall is everywhere on the street. Even the names of the places where this very suggestive type of dancing takes place reflects the modern Jamaican spirit in all its glory. The hype manner of dressing is nothing like the way people dress anywhere else. Boxer shorts over long pants, orange sunglasses, geometric style haircuts, and cell phone kits with the price tag still hanging from them. At the asylum, Jamaicans dance till they drop to the rhythm, for the most part created by Stone Love. The base of Jamaican sound is still the 45 RPM record. They're manufactured at complexes like Sonic Sound, including recording, mixing, mastering, and pressing. Disc jockeys come here very often to stock up, since new hit songs appear with the same breakneck rhythm as the music itself. New disc jockeys also appear on a daily basis with an original mix of a hit record and sometimes they disappear as quickly as they come. Old vinyl records are crushed into powder, which is recycled to press new records. Music is omnipresent in this sound factory, and dancing accompanies the mastering of the 45s, as they're called here at Sonic Sound. Studios like these encourage encounters between musicians, giving Kingston the reputation of being the Hollywood of reggae. So these are the ones that are just coming off the press. Luciano. Yeah. 
Sly is one of the most sought-after studio musicians in the world. He began his career working with Bob Marley, Serge Gainsbourg, and Grace Jones. He supervises the remixing of Exterminator Records, his own internationally distributed label. Today, he sells rhythmic cuts to musicians all over the world, which are used for albums that will or have already become international hits. The only way for slaves of different African ethnic groups who spoke different dialects to communicate with one another was through percussion. Percussion was also a way of softening the hard, inhuman treatment on the plantations. Like a reggae number, the African percussion background was enhanced over the centuries by a variety of imported instruments like the banjo, the guitar, and the Barbados rumba box. These instruments, blending diverse influences with African rhythms, gave birth to mento, ska, and rock steady with the guitar, and finally reggae, with the amplification of the bass line and the guitar. Mento, the forerunner of reggae, is at the root of this industry, which is a source of both wealth and success for the island.